Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona's channel in English. Today, we have our debut in La Liga. Today, we have to play against Real Sociedad, but we have some other news to talk about fast that we have to talk about. So, without more delay, let's start. <laughs> Well, first news we start today, it's bad news, really. Today has died Ger Müller. Uh, he was a myth in Germany. Um, of course, uh, he has already, well, he had 25 years old. Uh, it's, it's a young age, and it's, <laughs> it seems a bit <laughs> a bit pathetic. I'm saying it's young, but yeah, people now live some, until eighty something, so he could have lived a bit more, I guess, some years more. But well, sadly, um, we send our condolences to his family, friends. Uh, sadly, today he he died this last night and well for those who you don't know i read a bit about him and i can tell you that he had alzheimer since 2011 uh, and to know why he was the so so important such a myth in germany well for example he scored 566 goals in the bundesliga in 607 matches, which is a very high uh, percentage of goals. Also, uh, nobody has beat yet, or nobody has beaten yet his uh, his record of 365 goals in the Bundesliga. So you can imagine this player who played for um, if I'm not grown from, from Bayern Munich and also for the Germany national team, actually with the national team, he scored 66, 68 goals in 66 matches that he participated with the, uh, defending the German national team jersey. And also he was the Pichichi, you know, the top scorer of the Bundesliga seven times. You can imagine how much it means uh, for example, in the Spanish league, I think the record, and if I'm wrong, please correct me. I I'm, I don't know everything. Uh, but if I'm not wrong, the record is Messi with eight Pichichis, with eight time being the top scorer. So, do you, do you know how, how difficult it, it is? So, yeah, sadly, he, he, he left us here today. Well, Life goes on, and today we have match. As I was telling you before, one of the things, well, we're going to take a, a view of who we have, and we are going to relate some news with these things. For example, number one is not in the list. First one, why? Ter Stegen is not in the list because he's injured. He can't play, so we have to let him rest. But first one, the number two, Des, three, Piquet, Araujo, number four, Sergio Busquets, number five. Sir Ricky Put, number six. He has an update. <laughs> now he has another level. Number seven, Griezmann. No number eight. Who was number eight? Pjanic. Pjanic is not in the list. Number nine, Memphis. The Pi. Of course, he's going to be. Actually, I think I don't have doubt that he will be on the start in the starting eleven. Then number 10, nobody has got the number 10. Actually, that's a, a good gesture, a sweet gesture from, from the players, not getting number 10. Actually, the other day we were talking who should be number 10. Well, in my opinion, if someone should, uh, should be number 10, that's without any doubt, um, Ansu Fati. I think he should take the... The, the number 10 and show his capacity show that what everything we've seen these years these two years with his the first time his uh sometimes 
he came to play and he he delight he his delight movements and everything last year he was more more consistent and this year i think he he should be already in the team as as a leader even though he's so young he should have started he, uh, start taking that the chance in that position then we have with the number 11 we don't we don't have number 11 um, and i'm not sure who's going to be because the the players who are outside are Umtiti, Pjanic, and Coutinho. None of them had the number eleven. Pjanic, uh, Umtiti had the twenty-three. Pjanic eight. Coutinho had the fourteen. We will talk about this now. So I didn't have. Maybe Kunawero could be the number eleven, but I don't know. Well, number twelve, Breathweight. Then we have Neto with number thirteen. Rin, uh, Rai Manai with the number fourteen with Coutinho's number. Then we have 15 Lenglet, 16 Pedri. I think Pedri likes number 16, really. Uh, because he tried to be with the Spanish national team with the during the Euro Cup. He couldn't take the 16. I don't know who, to, who took it, but he couldn't. And then he took the 26. And then with the national team on the Olympic Games, he got the 16. So I think that he liked really this, this number. Then 18, Jordi Alba, his favorite number too. No, 19. 20, Sergio Roberto. 21, Dijon. 22, Royal. 24, no, 23, because on uh, Titi, it's outside. Eric Garcia, Iñaki Peña, 26. Demir, 27. Nico, 28. 30, Gabi, 20, 31, Valde. And 36 are now there. Okay, so things that we have to talk about. For example, some players are not here. All those who are recovering, the uh, Ter Stegen, Ansu Fati, Dembele. Oh, Dembele, I think is the number 11. Uh, now I remember. Dembele, forgot. We still have him. <sighs> uh, and Kunawero. I think those players are, uh, well, I don't think anything. Those players are injured and they, they are not here. But Pjanic, Untiti, and Coutinho, they were perfectly. They were training with the team. Well, Coutinho, uh, but Pjanic and Untiti, yes. And this is a message from Kuman saying, hey, here you don't have place. And why I'm saying this, because look who, is, who are there. Demir, Nico, Gavi, 16 years old, and he's in the list. Balde, and are now tenants. Five young players without less, uh, without such experience as Umtiti and Umpjanic, and they are in the list over them against a team that, remember, well, this is what I wanted to talk about, a team that last year they were first for some, for some, for some weeks. We also see that, and it's not exactly a team of, 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 of bad players. This year they come strong and we need a strong team. So let's see which are the starting 11s. This is from, if I'm not wrong, Mundo Deportivo. This is the starting 11 they thought they are going to put. There are other options. Every, every newspaper make their starting 11. So for... Um, from Real Sociedad, I have nothing to tell you really than, for example, Silva. Silva last year, I didn't see him much. I don't know what happened. And I was quite disconnected from that. But Merino, Merino just came from the Olympic Games and he started playing. The same for Oyarzabal. Actually, Oyarzabal played the two national uh, tournaments, the Euro Cup and the Olympic Games. And he's still there. It's the same situation as uh, Pedri in Barcelona. They didn't have uh, rest, sadly. So we will see how they, perf how they will perform. But uh, the 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 more important out for Real Sociedad is Isaac. Isaac has some problems in his leg, a red, and he will not be in the team at at the beginning. And for Barcelona, here we have Neto, Piqué, and Lenglet. Well, uh, we can discuss about that couple of center backs, but well, okay. Dest and Jordi Alba, perfect. Busquets, De Jong, and Pedri, the typical uh, midfielder. And then Griezmann, Memphis, and Breathweight. Well, 
I have some things to tell you here. I, I don't agree. For example, this starting 11 for me, Neto, of course. Not because I don't trust Iñaki Peña, because I think Real Sociedad is a very strong team and we need people with experience. And Neto has it. So there he goes. And also we have to show how good he is during the league. So these chances should be for Neto. Then at the center back, Pique, of course, he's the leader of the center of the back, so of the defense, so he has to be there. And Araujo. For me, Araujo has done much more than Langlet and Titi together this preseason, and he should stay there, showing that that position is his position. Then we have Dest and Jordi Alba, without doubt. We could put Emerson Royal and Dest at the left perfectly, but I think This is the best option in this moment. And then if not, we can change. But for starting, it's good. Then, no doubt about this. I was looking who could be, maybe Gabi could be there, or maybe, we, but no, any, anyway. Um, yeah, the only option we could change is Pedri for Gabi, but Gabi's, he didn't have so much experience during the league. He should have some minutes, but not the beginning. At, at least at least from now shouldn't start the matches he he can have his minutes at the end of the of the of the match but not at the beginning and i think this is the best we have really personally this is my opinion and then up we have griezmann demir and memphis why because if you see the griezmann and memphis uh, let me go back one second The Memphis and Griezmann Association has has been quite good during the preseason. And for Mundo Deportivo, they put them very far. On they put as a striker a Bradway, which didn't bad didn't make uh or didn't make a bad preseason. But in my opinion, uh Memphis as a striker generates more chances and more goals than Bradway. And then the mirror, why the mirror there as well? So I'm putting the uh, Memphis and Griezmann together because they, they understand each other quite good. And why the mirror there? Now, yes, I wanted to talk about that too. The mirror there because he has proven his his capacity. We also have a lack of forwards, forwards. So, uh, I, as I told you at the beginning, I think that's a good position for Messi as a wing. Actually, every time I saw Messi as a win, I, I think he did the best matches he's ever done, or he has ever done. So, as we don't have Messi, and we have to live in the present, the best in this moment, I think, is the mirror in that position. So, this is my starting 11, so I'd like to know what do you think about that. Anyway, guys, you know, the match is in a few hours, so I hope you enjoy it. It's at around 8 p.m. in Spain, so make the numbers. So I don't know where you live. I, I know where I live and it's 1 a.m. here. So I will watch it tomorrow morning and you will have your, uh, and I will watch it 90 minutes uh, because I have a website where they post it and they let you see it, I think, for one week. So yeah, I will I will watch it in, in other time, but at least I will watch the 90 minutes, not just the, the highlights. I really don't like to see highlights because it, it, it doesn't show you the real, the match. Um, It shows you just the, the most important parts of the match and you, you miss many things. Well, I stopped talking because today I talk a lot. So thank you for watching us and see you tomorrow. Enjoy the match, guys.